When you hear the sound of thunder on Maryland's eastern shore, don't look to the sky, but to the road ahead. That's where you're likely to find one of Bill Stone's custom-built bikes ripping it up. I like turning out a bike that's sleek, sexy, molten. Everything is flowing in it. It also has horsepower. It can get up and go if that's what you want. It has to have handability. It has to have uh, reliability. Bill's customers share his sense of style. I shop these bikes for about two and a half years. My thoughts are that uh, a lot of the bikes are overdone. Bill's been after me for a couple years to build one for me. And uh, when I saw this and what his ideas were, I just absolutely fell in love with it. Stone Cycles has been turning out custom built bikes for six years. With the help of his son James, frames from Arlen Ness, and some of the most creative paintwork around, Bill's creations are all about the details. The bikes leave a big impression on those who have seen them. I really can't repeat exactly what they do first say because it's uh, such a uh, word of exclamation that uh, <laughs> you might not want me to tell you. But uh, they're just they're just wowed by it. And then when they realize exactly how it's designed and engineered, it's just not like one of the other ones. Seat looks good. All we got to do is uh, top off that master cylinder up there. We should be good. Sprite calipers lined up just perfect. Pads aren't touching on either side, and we've got the. Uh, After a few finishing touches, Bill's newest project is ready for the streets. For this mean machine, Bill started with an Arlen Ness Y2K Dyna frame. I knew that if somebody had a real nice chopper-based frame with a swing arm on it uh, and Dyna engineered, I knew it was going to be a nice ride. It has eight inches of stretch in the up tubes, five in the backbone, and the front end is 12 inch over stock length. Uh, with the 63 and a half inverted millimeter front end, uh, it's just a phenomenal ride. The whole nice thing about the Dyna uh, powertrain technology is that the swing arm is bolted to the transmission, which is bolted to the engine. Now it's sat in the frame in two rubber motor mounts, one here in the front and one underneath the transmission back here. They're not transferring any vibration to the rider. A stabilizer link was specially fabricated for the bike. You have your, your three points that hold this whole powertrain into this frame, your two motor mounts down below, your stabilizer link up here, and the only other point that it contacts the frame is the top of the shocks. So when you're cornering, unlike a soft tail or a rigid design uh, bike, uh, you don't have to fight it into the turns and fight it out of the turns with this wide tire. The powertrain actually rolls in the frame, which helps you to track into the turns and track back out of the turns. And with that front end being so massive and inverted, uh, it just really handles like a dream. This is a bike that uh, uh, you can ride for six to eight hours and just be so comfortable on. Creating this custom build took more than 130 hours of work. What we have to fabricate here is starter jack shaft system to make the belt drive system work with this combination of engine and trans. We have to weld all our tank mounts. We have to drill holes for all our wiring in the frame. We have to make sure that the geometry is correct on the rear wheel. We have to make sure there's no bind on the side belt. So we have to fabricate our wheel spacers in the back. I don't like putting the belt drive over on the right side. That's a new thing now. Everybody likes to have the belt over on this side because a lot of the frames that are designed for wide tires, to keep them centered in the frame and for balance, they're going to the right side drive. Well, I don't like the belt aesthetically behind the exhaust pipes. I don't care for that look. Bill wanted a three inch belt drive for his bike, which turned out to be exactly what this custom build needed for perfect balance. Every aspect of the bike's design has been optimized for peak performance. The nice thing about the design of this front end and these bars, most of the time when you have bars that are very low like this, they'll swing closer to the tank 
when you make a turn on the highway. These don't. They stay the same distance away from the tank at all times. The most unique aspect of this bike may be its paint job. What I wanted was something that would exemplify our name, you know, signify the name of our, of our business, which is Stone Cycle. So I wanted to do it in stone. I got a piece of uh, black granite countertop and uh, gave that to the painter and told him that is the design that I wanted to, to have for this one. He had a hard time visualizing exactly how to do, because because granite is cracked. It has a cracked look in it. And uh, I wanted to really bring out the look that uh, uh, it was granite. So you have to have some, some actual real cracks in it, because granite does have cracks. And, and he couldn't visualize how to do it, so I broke the display piece on the ground and pushed the pieces together, and hence we got the right coloring of the cracks. I don't know, it's just something I had in my head. I just wanted something that, that no one else is doing, something that is uh, very clean and sleek, but also uh, uh, that you're not having to get off of after two or three hours. I just wanted something that was functional for the customer, a great ride, a great look, and uh, believe me, it gets looks wherever it goes. Let's head back into the shop and see what else Bill has been up to. Well, the customer came in and wanted to uh, do something uh, to a brand new soft tail standard. Um, it came in as a stock bike with about uh, 700 miles on it. He wanted a, uh, a custom bike without incurring the expense of uh, building one from the ground up. He uh, wanted a Pro Street fender look in the rear and he wanted the front end just kicked out a little bit so it would look more like a custom. We've lowered it, we've slammed it down. Uh, the front end are adjustable rake triple trees which brought the whole front, out, the whole front end out, made it more custom and uh, it gave it a custom look. Uh, what we've done is we've gone to a much wider rim and tire on the rear. Uh, the fender is a uh, Pro Street fender, but in that it is made of fiberglass. It's uh, six layer radial wrap, very strong. It'll support 600 pounds. Now we don't have to worry about having struts exposed. That's eliminated, which allows a real nice clean look. We've danced around it with a little bit of chrome. We've chromed the original front uh, legs, put some, uh, uh, some real nice bars on there. We run all the wiring through the bars, braided cables, uh, and it gives it a real nice clean look, but it's also very comfortable for the customer as well. So basically, we've taken a stock bike and uh, very affordably gone ahead and uh, made it a nice little custom. He's very pleased with it, rides it all the time. We put some nice exhaust on there that not only sounds nice, but flows really well. We try to keep bikes here that we do, even, even stock bikes when we customize them, we try to keep them very clean, very uncluttered, lines flowing. Uh, that's very important. Everything has to, has to flow just right. Th this is the way I perceive it, and, and most of my customers feel the same way. Um, hence, we, we have something like this produced out of a stock bike. Bill enjoys customizing stock bikes, but it's the chance to build a bike from the ground up that really gets him going. This custom motorcycle is actually the twin brother of Bill's nest-based build and was built by Stone Cycles for Gary Burgess. The bike is absolutely very, very comfortable. Um, I've got about 4,000 miles on it this summer. Uh, it's just, it rides so good, it's very comfortable, it's very sleek, it's not overdone. Uh, the bike is just, uh, it's a dream. I mean, it's very, very comfortable. For Brendan, cold weather, hot weather, um, I like riding to the beach, I do a lot of fishing. Um, I like doing rides. I've done a fair amount of shows with it. Uh, actually, I've been in seven shows this summer. Uh, one best in shows six out of seven times. 
The biggest thing that people notice about this bike is that how well it flows. Uh, if you look at a lot of custom bikes, there's a lot of them that are just, they're overdone. They just don't flow as nice as this bike. This bike is so well put together, and, and people really love the paint job and, and, and the chrome, and that's what makes the whole thing flow together. The difference in, in, in a manufactured bike uh, versus this bike is that uh, you have to really look at it closely as far as the wiring and the detail and especially the paintwork. Um, the, the meticulous things on this bike are absolutely incredible. You, you can look at the frame, you can't find a weld mark on this frame. And that's where, where you start getting into the detail. The detail in the wiring, how the bike is put together. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous bike, there's no doubt. When people come up, they just go, whoa, whoa, where'd this bike come from? You know, because it's, it's strictly custom. Well, this is the first custom bike I've owned. Uh, I've had Harleys uh, down the road. I still have one, but I, that, <laughs> I don't really ride much since I've had this one. But uh, what I like about this one is just the ride. Uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, you, like I say, you can sit on it and ride it all day long. It's, it's just a super piece to ride. It, it, it just gets so much attention anywhere I go. I can't go and fill it with gas without people coming over wanting to know who made it, where it was made. Uh, they want to hear it run. They want to hear me leave. Um, and basically, it causes backups. <laughs> I have people chase me down the road and run up alongside of me and always giving me the thumbs up. People are blowing their horns at me. Uh, you know, it's, it's quite a piece. And, and it makes it a little tougher to ride because you worry about people coming up on you too fast or getting too close to you or not paying attention where they're going. Uh, I've probably caused almost two or three accidents with this so far riding down the highway. Well, if this bike is turning so many heads, imagine what the sight of two custom builds could do. The best part of owning a custom-built motorcycle is taking it out on the road. It's even better when you have a friend to share the ride. Work keeps Bill and Gary from getting out on their bikes as much as they'd like, but today the two friends are enjoying a tour of Maryland's Eastern Shore. The Ness Y2K Dyna frame and the dozens of details of Bill's custom work make it a smooth, comfortable ride. These original bikes actually perform as good as they look. The guys may like to take their bikes out to see the sights, but no matter where they go, these bikes are the main attraction. Bill Stone's first custom build is a true beauty. Next up for Stone Cycles is a pro street version of the bike, utilizing the same Nest Dyna frame. With a sleek profile, an inverted front end, and limited production Arlen Ness wheels, the bike promises to be another eye-catching machine from Stone Cycles. <laughs> 